Hello, I'm Steve Grisetti, co-founder of MoviePix.com and author of the MoviePix.com Guide to Cyberlink Power Director versions 12, 13, and 14. And here we are in version 14, looking at some of the cool new tools. One of my favorite new tools here in version 14 is something called the Motion Tracker. Now we have a video of a little toddler toddling through a room. There he is. He moves around the video frame a lot. He remains fairly consistent looking, and you kind of do need to have something that's distinct from the background and maintains its same look throughout the video clip in order for this tool to work. But we'll select this clip on our timeline, we'll go to our tools, and under there we'll find the motion tracker. So we'll select that, and our motion tracker workspace opens. Now, I'm gonna just move the playhead into the clip a little bit, and then set the tracker box or this selection box around the person I want to select or the object I want to select. But I'm doing that just to show you something. Look down here on the timeline. Wherever you are in the clip, when you set up your tracker, that's where the track begins. So if you want to begin at the beginning of your clip, that's where you have to set your tracker because it's only going to begin where you make the selection. So let's move the playhead back to the beginning and now I can set my tracker on my little toddler here and now the tracker will follow him as long as he's recognizable through the entire clip. Once I've selected him I'm just going to press the track button and you'll see that little yellow box is going to follow him the whole way through the video. Very nice. Despite a lot of movement on his part the tracker box stays with him throughout the whole thing. That's great. Now, if for some reason we would lose him or he gets lost in the background or he goes behind something and we lose him, we could also have stopped that track at any point or trimmed the tracker line here on the timeline so that it ends, it doesn't go through the entire clip. But in this case, it follows him through the entire clip and now we have some options. One option is that we could add a clip or an image to this clip, and that would be appear as a picture in picture. I could have, for instance, a little ball floating through the air that would follow him the whole way through. I could have a, a little video playing, maybe a video of him 10 years later reacting to this, and it would lock onto that track box and follow him. I could also add an effect, and when I select the effects, I could highlight him or put a mosaic over him. And a mosaic obviously would make him uh, disguise it would mask him there you go use that so if you have an object or a person you want to censor in your video the mosaic would work I could also set up a spotlight and now look he's brighter than the rest of the video and I could set it up by selecting this option to adjust the effect size with the tracked object and the whole way through the clip that highlight stays with him and follows him just as the tracker box does but rather than use the spotlight I'm going to select text. Now you can only select one of these options, either the effect or the floating clip or the text. If you try to select more than one, you see what happens. It will remove one and then the other would replace it. I'm going to replace it with text, so I'll select yes. I want to remove the attached object. And I'm going to add text. I'm just going to write Jason's name, J-A-S-O-N, and I'm going to make it a bright color. So I'm going to select the color option here. That's a nice bright color. It should stand out from the background. There it is. It's kind of a reddish orange. And I can position it any place on the video relative to the tracking box. It's going to lock into that position. So no matter how much Jason wiggles around, his name is going to stay right where I've placed it relative to the selection box. I can also select in here the option to add a border, maintain aspect ratio, or I can select the option to adjust effect size with the tracked object, in which case if Jason gets closer to the camera his name is going to get bigger, if he gets farther away it's going to get smaller, and we can see the results here. I'm just going to move the playhead back to the beginning and we'll play it through, and as you can see his name stays with him no matter how much he wiggles and wobbles and toddles through the whole video clip. This is a very cool tool and uh, remarkably effective. I tried it with a lot of video sources and it really works very, very well. Now, if you want to know more about this wonderful program, be sure to check out the tips and tutorials we have at moviepix.com. If you want to know everything about CyberLink PowerDirector 14, check out my book, the moviepix.com guide to 
Cyberlink Power Director 14. It's available at Amazon.com and, of course, right at our MoviePix.com store. I'm Steve Grizzetti. Hope to see you again real soon.